Brady, welcome, welcome. Good to have you back, Phyllis. And um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get started. I'm a little chilly today, so I have on my socks and my sweater. They'll probably come off, but um, if you're starting off and you feel a little um, chilly, definitely, you know, can have something on and then you can sort of take your layers off as you go. And um, yeah, I think that's that. Definitely, I was saying, um, it's been kind of a strange week. Um, a lot of things going on, but we're gonna get into it. So finding yourself a nice comfortable seat, you can sit directly on your mat or up on a block or a blanket and bringing the hands to your knees or to your lap and close your eyes and start to settle yourself in. Letting go of anything that might've been happening before coming to class. Letting go of anything you might have to do following. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face. Really feeling your seat connecting to the earth. Bringing yourself into the room, into your body, into your center. And starting to focus on your breath. Noticing where you're feeling the breath in this moment. You might be feeling it in your belly or in your back, maybe at the side ribs. Might be feeling it in the chest, maybe at the shoulders or tip of the nose or top of the lip. But wherever you're feeling the breath in this moment, just taking this time to notice the breath. Just noticing where you're feeling the rise and fall of the breath and not making any judgments, just noticing. And we're just gonna take some time here being with the breath, settling ourselves in, really letting go. It's a lot going on right now. We move into this election day. So maybe just taking this time to set an intention for what you'd like to see for the world right now, for our country right now. Instead of seeing the negative, which might be coming at us often, really just start to visualize the positive. Set an intention for a world, a country that you want to see. And we'll just take a few moments here, just being with that, setting that intention, being with our breath, coming into this present moment And taking your time, bringing the palms together in front of the heart into prayer position, Anjali Mudra. Palms together, thumbs at the sternum. We'll take a few deep breaths together here in through the nose and out through the nose. Taking a nice deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale and exhale. We'll take one more deep breath in and begin class with one sound of OM. Taking a nice deep breath in. OM. And relaxing the hands down to the knees or to the thighs. And slowly dropping the chin to the chest. And inhale the head and neck up around to the right. Inhale, rolling all the way back. Exhale, rounding back down, chin to chest. 
You're going to inhale, rounding up. And exhale, rolling the head down. And just continuing at your own pace, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face. And next time the chin reaches the chest, you can reverse the circles. Inhale up in the opposite direction. Exhale as you round the head back down, chin to chest. And again, just continuing at your own pace. Again, really feeling the stretch in the neck. And next time the chin reaches the chest, just holding it there for a moment. And then inhale, bringing the head up to center. You can slowly open the eyes if they're not already open. And then inhale, bringing both arms up. Exhale, just taking a lean over to the right side. Just take a nice side stretch here. Really feel like the ribs are separating. Breathing, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale over to the opposite side. Again, just feeling the side stretch here. Breathing, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale, take a twist to the right. Bring hand to knee, tent the fingers behind you. Inhale, lift a little taller in the spine. Exhale, twist deeper, looking over the back shoulder. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale, one more inhale. And exhale, inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale, taking a twist to the opposite side. Again, hand to knee, tent the fingers behind you. Inhale, lift a little taller in the spine. Exhale, twist deeper, looking over the back shoulder. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale, one more inhale. And exhale, inhale, bring both arms up. And exhale, folding yourself down the middle. Just take a nice, easy forward fold. Relax head, neck, and shoulders. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Slowly rolling yourself back up to sit. Beautiful. And if you're sitting on a blanket or block, you can come off of it onto all fours on your hands and knees. And you're gonna spread the fingers wide. Make sure you can see a little bit of the mat between the fingers. Really feeling the whole palm of the hand connecting to the earth. Again, shoulders and wrists in a nice line, hips and knees also in a nice line. You're gonna inhale, bring the head up, tailbone up, arch your back. Exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone, drop the head. And inhale, head up, tailbone up, arch. And exhale, round. And just continuing at your own pace. Moving through a few rounds of cat and cow, just opening up the spine, preparing for practice. And next time the chin, uh, next time you exhale, I should say, just bring yourself back to a neutral spine. And reaching the right leg out behind you, you're gonna flex the foot, square the hips, engage the abdominals. And you can balance right there on that one knee, or if you like, you can lift up the opposite hand, palm facing toward the wall. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, relax the hand, relax the knee. Finding a neutral spine one more time and reaching the opposite leg out behind you. Again, flex the foot, square the hips, engage the abdominals, balancing on that one knee. You can stay right there balanced or lifting up the opposite hand, palm facing toward the wall. Breathe, inhale. 
and exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Relax the hand, relax the knee. Finding a neutral spine one more time. And lifting up the right knee, just making hip circles to the hip, making your circles as big or small as you need to. And whenever you're ready, you can reverse the circles. And relaxing that knee down to the ground, finding a neutral spine, lifting up that opposite knee, making the circles. And whenever you're ready, reversing the circles. And releasing that knee down to the ground. And then bringing the hands about six or seven inches more in front of you, making hip circles through both the hips. Again, making your circles as big or small as you need to. And whenever you're ready, if you haven't already, you can reverse the circles. And then bringing your hands back to a neutral spine. So again, just spreading the fingers nice and wide. Make sure you can see the mat between the fingers, feeling the palm of the hand connecting to the earth. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, press back, downward facing dog. So for this first down dog of the day, if you wanna pedal the feet, you can pedal the feet. You can shake your head, yes, no, which is finding that space between the shoulders and the ears. You can bend the knees slightly if you need to, just to help to elongate the spine. And just taking a few breaths here in this first down dog of the day. And then lifting the right leg straight back behind you, just taking your nice three-legged dog. And then you can release that foot back down to the ground, taking a breath and lifting up that opposite leg. Just keeping that three-legged dog nice square hip. And releasing that foot back down to the ground. Taking another breath here in this first down dog of the day. And then take your time, walk your feet to your hands, come to hang over in Uttanasana forward fold. So here in your first forward fold of the day, if you need to bend the knees slightly, you can bend the knees. You can hold on to opposite elbows if you like. You can shake your head, yes, no. Just finding that space between the shoulders and the ears. And breathing here, inhale. And exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale, one more inhale, and exhale. And if you're holding on to opposite elbows, you can release the hands. And then slowly rolling yourself up one vertebra at a time, letting the head be the last thing to come up. Beautiful. And then bringing the feet about hip distance apart. As always, if you're not sure about hip distance, you can find the as is bone, the bony bone right in front of the hip. Bringing your fist to that bone, look down at the feet. Feet should be parallel to each other. And you can release the hands if you have them in fists. And you can lift the toes and then do your best to release the toes down one toe at a time. Just trying to see a little bit of the mat between the toes. And if that's not happening today, you just wanna feel that energetic pull in the feet like you have roots coming out of the bottoms of the feet. So as the energy in the feet is going down, everything else is lifting up, feeling that lift in the thighs. Feeling the lift in the abdominals coming up and in, tailbone tucking under. And then start to feel like you're growing out of the side body, almost like the ribs are separating and you're getting a little bit taller. You can lift the shoulders up and roll them down the back. One more time, lift the shoulders up, roll them down the back. Beautiful, keeping the shoulders rolled down the back. Inhale, bring both arms up, palms facing each other. And one more time, just relax the shoulders down. Breathing here for Tadasana, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. One more inhale 
and exhale. Beautiful. Taking one more deep breath in. Exhale, just taking a slight back bend. I'm just going to turn to the side. Just take a nice, easy back bend. First back bend of the day. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale. Release the right arm down by your side. Just taking a nice side stretch here. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 One more inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, sit back, Utkatasana, chair pose. So here in your chair, keeping the shoulders relaxed, tailbone tucked, abdominals engaged. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale, inhale. Come all the way up to stand. Exhale, relax the opposite arm down and taking that side stretch. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Inhale, bring both arms up, and exhale. Relax the arms down by your side. You can shake out the shoulders if you need to. And then coming to the front of your mat, and bringing the hands to the hips, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, stepping the right foot back, turning the back foot to 45 degrees, opening up the arms for your warrior two. And then just taking a moment here in your warrior two, nice tall spine, looking out over the front fingers, breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 one more inhale, and exhale, beautiful. Straighten that front knee, flip the palms up, lean back, reverse triangle. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. One more inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Coming forward, bend the front knee. And bring the forearm to the thigh. Sweep the arm up over the ear, palm facing toward the ground. And really lifting up nice and strong out of the shoulder. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, coming all the way up through warrior two. And take your time, cartwheel the hands down. You can step back to down dog, or you can bring the knees down and then press yourself back up to downward facing dog. And then take your time, come forward to plank, hold in plank, breathing inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Bring the knees down, spread them wide, sit back in a child's pose. And just taking a couple of breaths here in child's pose. And then pressing yourself back up to downward facing dog. 
And take your time, walk your feet to your hands. Come to hang over in Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands into prayer in front of the heart. And one more time, come into the front of your mat. Bring your hands to hips. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, stepping the left foot back. Turn that back foot to 45 degrees, opening up for your warrior two. Again, nice tall spine, looking out over the front fingers. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, 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 one more inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Straighten that front knee, flip the palms up, lean back, reverse triangle. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, 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 one more inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Coming forward, bend the front knee, bringing the forearm to the thighs, sweep the arm up over the ear, palm facing toward the ground. Again, lifting up nice and strong out of the shoulder. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, coming all the way up through warrior two, and then cartwheel the hands down. Step back to downward facing dog, or again, bring the knees down, and press up to downward facing dog. And once again, coming forward to plank, holding in plank, breathing inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Bring the knees down, spread them wide. Sit back in child's pose. And just taking a moment here in child's pose. And then pressing yourself back up to downward facing dog. And take your time, walk your feet to your hands. Come to hang over in Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, swan dive all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands into prayer in front of the heart. And just take a moment here with hands in prayer just to breathe and feel. And you can slowly open your eyes and relax the hands down by your side. Beautiful. So just coming uh, to stand with the feet hip distance apart. And we're gonna move into uh, tree pose. So always three options for tree, three. <laughs> three options for tree. You can always bring your heel right above your ankle. You can bring your foot to your shin or calf, or you can bring your foot all the way up into the thigh. Totally up to you. But before we get going, again, just bringing the feet hip distance apart. You wanna find a focal point, something on the wall or on the floor that's not moving. And then before we move into the pose, just rocking yourself side to side gently, just really feeling the weight on either foot. And then you can bring all of your weight onto your right leg right foot so you have a nice strong standing leg. Again, finding your focal point and finding your tree. So again, might have that heel right above the ankle. Awesome, you can have your foot at the shin or calf or you can bring your foot all the way up into the thigh. The only place you don't want your foot is at the knee. And then bringing the palms together in front of the heart. So you can stay right here with the palms at heart center or if you like, you can open up your branches. And breathing here, inhale. 
and exhale, inhale, 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 and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Bringing the palms back together in front of the heart. And then releasing the foot from the leg. You're going to keep the knee bent, foot flexed, or you can have one toe on the ground if you feel like you need more stability. And then opening up the arms for your crane pose. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. 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 Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Relax the hand, relax the foot, and you can shake out the foot or the leg of the standing leg if you feel like you need to. And then one more time, bringing the feet hip distance apart. And again, just rocking yourself side to side to start. And then bringing all of your weight onto the left leg, left foot. And again, finding a focal point, something that's not moving on the floor or the wall, and then finding your tree. You know your three options. You can have that heel above the ankle or foot at the shin or the calf or foot all the way up into the thigh. Uh -huh. And once you've found your tree, bringing the palms together in front of the heart. And once again, you can stay right here with the hands at, part, at heart center, or you can open up the branches. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Bringing the palms back together at heart center and releasing the foot from the leg. Again, you're going to keep the knee bent, foot flex, foot off the floor, or you can have one toe on the ground if you need more stability. And then opening up the arms for your crane. Breathing here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Relax the arms, relax the leg, and you can shake it out if you need to. Beautiful. And bringing the feet together, inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, up to flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stepping both feet back to downward facing dog. And then bring the knees down, spread them wide. Sit back in child's pose. So just taking your time in child's pose, relax, letting go. Anything that might be rolling around in the mind, just give it to the ground, give it to the earth. And just taking a few more breaths in your child's pose. And then you can bring yourself up to sit on your mat. And once you come to sit, you can have your legs straight out in front of you. And then bringing the right knee in, out, in and opening that knee out to the side, keeping the foot flex and the outstretched leg, sitting up nice and tall, still feel like you have a string coming up out of the top of the head. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, folding yourself over that outstretched leg. So. If you're not able to touch the toes today, it's okay. Wherever the hands land is fine. Relaxing the head, neck, and shoulders. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
inhale and exhale 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 one more inhale and exhale slowly rolling yourself back up to sit you can bring the knee in straightening out the leg bringing the opposite knee opening it out to the side again keeping that foot flex and outstretch leg inhale bring both arms up exhale folding over the outstretched leg again wherever the hands land is fine relaxing the head neck and shoulders breathing inhale and exhale 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 one more inhale and exhale slowly rolling yourself back up to sit bringing the knee in straightening out both the legs sitting up nice and tall inhale bring both arms up exhale folding yourself down the middle again wherever the hands land is fine relax head neck and shoulders breathing inhale and exhale 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 one more inhale and exhale slowly rolling yourself back up to sit beautiful and take your time you can come to lay down on your back gonna hug the knees into the chest you can rock yourself side to side up and down back and forth whatever you need just to give your spine a little massage and then you can release the feet down to the ground and we're going to prepare for a uh, bridge pose so for bridge reaching down toward the heels with your middle finger coming as close to reaching the heels as possible. You may or may not touch the heels, it's okay. Just feeling the energetic connection between the heels and the fingertips. And then just taking your time, you're gonna inhale, lift the hips up off the ground. And you can stay right here, hips lifted, or you can tuck the shoulders under and clasp the hands. And breathing here, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale 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 one more inhale and exhale you can unclasp the hands if they're clasped untuck the shoulders rolling down one vertebra at a time and just taking a pause here And once again, reaching down toward the heels with the middle finger or coming as close as possible. And one more time, inhale, lift, lift, lift the hips up off the ground. Again, you can stay right here with the hips lifted or you can tuck the shoulders under and clasp the hands. Breathing here, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale you can unclasp the hands the clasp untuck the shoulders rolling down one vertebra at a time so the last bridge is yogi's choice you can do the bridge that we just did or any variation of that bridge, or you can do a restorative bridge by taking one of your blocks at whatever height feels good for you and just lifting the hips, relax the sacrum down and just resting on the block for your restorative bridge. So just take your time. You can move into whichever bridge you like in this moment. Just remembering to keep breathing wherever you are. Okay. 
And just continue breathing, taking a few more breaths here in your bridge of choice. And then taking your time, you can start to bring yourself down from whichever bridge you chose. And just spreading the feet about the width of the mat, keeping feet on the floor, knees bent. You're just gonna windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Just giving the spine one last massage. And then bringing the knees to center or the feet to center. And then you can rock or bring yourself up to sit on your mat. All right, so we're gonna move into pigeon pose. If you're already familiar with uh, whatever pigeon is good for you, you can move into the pose. If you're not sure, you can watch me. So always two options for pigeon. You can come into down dog, lifting the legs, sweeping it forward. If you feel like you need props under the hip, you can always use a block or blanket or towel just to keep the hips nice and square. And then just taking a nice deep breath in, folding yourself forward. You can bring your head all the way down. You can use your hands as a pillow. You can place a block under the head. And if being in pigeon that way is not good for you today or not comfortable, you can always come onto your back, cross ankle over knee, hold onto the back of the knee, flex the feet for your pigeon. So just deciding whichever variation is good for you today, take your time. And once you come into your pigeon of choice, just taking a moment to scan the body and just noticing any spaces, places that might need a little extra breath, love, attention, expansion, just sending some breath energy there. And doing your best to relax the mind in this pose, to let go. And again, just continue to keep breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. And then slowly taking your time, start to bring yourself out of your pigeon on that side. So wherever you are, if you feel like you need to take a stretch, you can do that. And then take your time, you can come into your pigeon on the other side. If you're on your back, just gonna change the cross of your legs. If you're folding forward, just taking a nice deep breath and then folding yourself forward. Again, just taking a scan of the body, noticing any places, spaces that need a little extra breath, love, energy, attention, expansion, just sending the breath there. And just relaxing, letting go. Continuing to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. And just taking a few more breaths in your pigeon on the side, relaxing the mind. And then taking your time, start to bring yourself out of your pigeon on that side. Again, if you feel like you need to stretch the legs, shake it out, you can do what you need to do.
And then you can bring yourself to sit on your mat. All right, so we're gonna move into our legs of the wall or simulated legs of the wall. So as always, if you have actual wall space and you wanna put your legs actually up the wall, you definitely can do that. Otherwise, you can just take your block at the wide flat side, coming to lay down on your back, almost like you're doing a restorative bridge. Lift the hips and then bringing the legs into the air. So yeah, lift the hips, place the block under the hips, and then bring the legs in the air. So of course, again, if you have wall space and you like to actually put your legs up the wall, you can do that as well. So just taking your time here, legs in the sky, you can relax, you can close your eyes if you like, Whatever you feel like you need to do here, just letting go, giving the heart a little rest, changing up the circulation a bit. Just take your time here with your legs in the air. I'm just taking a few more breaths here with legs in the air, just letting go. And then take your time, start to bring your feet down from the sky or from the wall. You can lift the hips, release the block if you have one under you. You can move it to the side. So once again, feet on the floor, knees bent. You're gonna scoot the hips to the left, drop the knees to the right, so you're in a spinal twist on the ground. As usual, if you're in your spinal twist and it's not so comfortable, you can always place a block between the knees just to give a little bit more comfort in your spinal twist. You don't have to, but it's just an option. And you can bring your hand to knee. You can cactus your arms. You can see the arms. If you like a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can turn your head toward the opposite shoulder. And just breathing here. Just taking your time in this spinal twist. Continue to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. And just taking a couple more breaths in your twist on this side. And then bringing the knees up to center and you can switch sides, scoot the hips over, drop the knees to the opposite side. Again, if you have that block between the knees, you can keep that block there. Again, you can cactus the arms or tee the arms or bring hand to knee. And of course you can Turn the head toward the opposite shoulder if you like a little bit of a deeper stretch. If you like, you can close your eyes here. Just continuing to keep breathing in this spinal twist.
And just continue breathing here in this spinal twist. And just taking a couple more breaths here. And then bringing the knees up to center. You can scoot your hips back to the middle. And then lifting the feet up off the ground, you can uh, hold on to opposite sides of the feet or your ankles for your happy baby pose. If you feel like you need one last massage of the spine, you can gently rock yourself side to side. Just giving your spine one last massage. And then take your time. You can start to prepare for Shavasana. So again, if when you're laying on your back, it's not so comfortable, sometimes the lower back is not so happy, you can always place your blocks under the knees or a blanket if you have. Just something to um, give the lower back a little bit of ease. If you're feeling a little chilly like I am and you have socks, or a sweater, sweatshirt, blanket, you can put that on for your Shavasana. Just make yourself cozy. And then just starting to relax, let go. Feeling the weight of the whole body being held by the ground, by the earth. tension you might be having in the forehead relax the eyebrows relax the eyelids let the eyes flow easy in the eye sockets Releasing any tension you might have in the cheeks. Relax the nose. Relax the lips. Let the tongue flow easy in the mouth. Releasing any tension you might have in the chin or the jaw. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders, let them rest easy on the mat. Let me see any tension you might have in the arms or the hands. Relax the chest. Relax the belly, let the breath be easy. Releasing any tension you might have in the hips or the pelvis. Relax the thighs and the knees. Relaxing the ankles. Shins, calves. Releasing the tops and bottoms of the feet. And feeling the weight of the whole body being held by the ground, by the earth.
slowly start to bring yourself back into the room by wiggling your fingers and your toes. You can move your head from side to side and take a nice deep breath. And when you're ready, you can turn onto your right side into a fetal position. And when you're ready, you can bring yourself back up to sit. And when you find your seat, just close your eyes. And bringing the palms together in front of the heart into prayer position, Anjali Mudra, palms together, thumbs at the sternum. We'll end class today with one sound of Om. Take a nice deep breath in. Om. And bowing forward to your inner teacher. Thank yourself for taking this time for yourself today. Namaste.